In yet another incident of sexual assault, a 13-year-old girl lost lots of blood after she was brutally raped by a 20-year-old man in Wadada area of Makurdi, the Benue state capital. It was gathered that the profusely bleeding young girl, who sells a local delicacy in front of her house, was rushed to the hospital after the horrific ordeal but her current condition is stated to be unstable. According to activist, Yukin Kuru, the suspect identified as Ali Usman has been arrested. However, the victim's family are under pressure to drop the case as they are poor and can't afford to go to court. Narrating how the incident, Mr. Kuru said on Sunday evening, October 4, the suspect called the girl to bring him some food. On getting to his door, he dragged her into his room where he brutally raped her. Her scream alerted neighbors who broke into the apartment and found her covered in blood and almost lifeless. Read details below. Rape. The ugly monster is bent on destruction. Will IT destroy all our children or we will kill IT before IT does? There is yet another rape of a minor, a 13-year-old girl at Wadadamakurdi. The numerous rape cases especially involving minors have become too rampant and it is not just sickening and saddening, it is indeed worrisome. Like a raving monster, this act of rape is capable of destroying all our children, none will be safe or spared if we don't act decisively. Another rape case has been reported in the Wadana axis of Makurdi. This one is between one Ali Usman, adult of about 20 years and a 13-year-old girl within the same neighborhood. On this fateful rainy Sunday evening, the little girl who sells a local food called Awara, was selling it in front of the compound when this neighbor called that he wanted to buy. He asked her to bring it into the room, she had brought it to the door and in the process of handing over the food, the young man dragged her by her hijab, covering her face and mouth, and preventing her cries from being heard outside. He was so brutal, in fact, the crime scene is better imagined than seen. She lost so much blood in the process and was so weak, but she didn't stop making efforts at screaming even with her mouth gagged up. Due to the fact that it was raining, her screams couldn't be easily heard. But with her persistence, the cries finally got to the neighbors and on breaking in, they met her almost lifeless. She was rushed to the hospital and it was discovered she had lost so much blood. Her PCV was just about 19%. I was called at the hospital by Mrs. Bay and I was able to raise some money for her treatment. The parents had no money on them. I inquired if they have reported the matter to the police yet, and they answered in the affirmative. The rapist has been arrested. I moved them to the police hospital yesterday where more tests were run on her. I left them after some time and I was later called that she had fainted again, and was Rushi's later called.